Good day everyone. Our topic is all about proof by contradiction. Proof by contradiction is a form of proof that establishes the truth or the validity of a proposition by showing that assuming the proposition to be false leads to a contradiction. Now, how do we show proof by contradiction? So, there are three steps. First, assume the proposition is not true. Second, use the assumption to derive new consequences until one is the opposite of your premise. And the third one is conclude that the assumption must be false and that its opposite, your original conclusion, must be true. For one proposition, P, assume that P is true, then find a contradiction that shows not P is false, so P is true. And for an implication, P implies Q. Assume P and not Q are true, then find a contradiction that shows either P implies Q or not P implies not Q. Example, if N is an integer and 3N plus 2 is even, then N is even. So, we're going to assume that 3n plus 2 is even, which is our p, and n is integer, and our q is n is even, so the negation is n is add. So since 3n plus 2 is even, then 3n is even by subtraction of two even integers. Then 3n minus n must be add by subtraction of an even and add integer. However, 3n minus n is equal to 2n, which is even by definition, which is a contradiction of our original assumptions. So therefore, if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is even, then n is even. Okay, next is show that square root of 2 is irrational. So first, we're going to assume that square root of 2 is rational. So by relying the definition of rational, then there exist two integers a and b such that square root of 2 is equal to a over b, where b is not equal to 0. Then a and b have no common factor. So therefore, we're going to assume that square root of 2 equals a over b is rational. So divide both sides or squared both sides, therefore 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. Then multiply both sides by b squared, the answer would be 2b squared equals a squared. Therefore, a must be even because a squared is equal to 2 times some integer and b, and b squared is also an integer. So a squared must be even. So a is equal to 2c for some c is an integer. So let's continue. Assume that a is equal to 2c. So therefore, substitute 2b squared equals value of a is 2c. So therefore, 2c squared. Then bring down 2b squared equals 2 squared is 4. Then c squared is equal to c squared. Divide both sides by 2. The answer would be b squared equals 2c squared. Therefore, b must be even. So since a and b are both even, then they have common factor. Therefore, square root of 2 is irrational by contradiction. Another example is if a squared is even, then a is even. So we're going to assume for the sake of contradiction. So a squared is even, which is our p, and in negation of q, a is add. So since a is add, therefore, a is equal to 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. Then, a squared equals the quantity of 2k plus 1 squared. Next, we're going to squared. 2k squared is equal to 4k squared, then 2k plus 2k is 4k, then 1 squared is 1. Next is we're going to factor out 2 times the quantity of 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. So 2 is an integer and 2k squared plus 2k is also an integer. Therefore, our a squared is equal to 2 times the integers plus 1. So that is a is odd. But wait, a squared is even. Therefore, a squared is even, then a is also 
event so that's all for this video and god bless everyone